Oh my gosh, this fish is huge. Oh, did you see that? That's the biggest catfish I've ever seen. Oh, and it's pulling the kayak again after an hour long fight. Hey, what's up everybody? This is Todd. Come along on this fishing adventure. If you leave me to my own device, I never had to compromise. Last year I drove from Pittsburgh down to Lake Norman, North Carolina, hooked into a fish that I fought for three hours and the fish snapped the line. I never saw the fish. It dragged me to the middle of the lake in my kayak. I almost got hit by a tugboat, all for a fish I didn't even see. That was not fun. This is a year later. There are very similar fishing conditions. I'm excited this time because I'm not only bringing my eight pound test line, I'm also bringing my heavy gear, 30 pound test line because I know there are monsters in this lake. But I have to complete this six and a half hour drive and hopefully this will be different. Pull my fears right out of sight. Beat the hustle, better get it right. In a game where the strong survive. I got the GoPro on my hat. So off to the right over there is where I hooked into that giant fish, which I think was a catfish. It left the line spun up and slimy. I'm gonna bust out my favorite catfish bait. This is raw chicken marinated overnight in Kool-Aid with garlic. Yum, yum. Nice big chunks. Got the heavy rod. This time, I'm ready. That was four hours of fishing, not a single bite. So I'm gonna head to the hotel. I'm here for one more day. Start first thing in the morning. Beautiful sunrise. All right, back to my light tackle, trying to catch something, anything at this point after all that driving and fishing yesterday. This area has some good drop-offs to, to jig on the bottom, 30 feet for hybrids, white perch, white bass, anything. Oh, there's a fish, first one. It took the one eighth ounce jig and three inch Berkeley gulp. Look at that nice little white perch. Feels good on this light tackle. All right, got the skunk off the board. Thank you, buddy. I'm gonna do one more cast here with the light gear, jig this drop off from 20 feet down to 35 feet. Then I'm going with the heavy gear and a big piece of chicken. I'm gonna do one more cast. Oh, that's a fish. That's not a white perch. This thing's actually moving the kayak. Hopefully it's a hybrid, like five pounds. So I'll have a fighting chance with this eight pound test line. Oh, I think I just felt a strum against the line. When a catfish spins, its barbels or whiskers will flick against the line. Here it is again. No, no, not another giant catfish on the light gear. This is a replay of last year. It's just going wherever it wants. I can't lift it an inch. Oh, look at that, still running drag after all this time. I'm gonna have to run the motor. It's gonna spool me if I don't start following it. All right, got the trolling motor running. I'm chasing the fish now. Man, this is creepy how similar this is. My arms were sore for two days after that, and I could not lift that fish an inch off the bottom. It just had its way out in the open water. Are you seeing this? There's gotta be a way to do this. Last time in this situation, I kept the fish out in the deep water to avoid getting snagged up on the shoreline by tree stumps or anything like that. 
But now I'm thinking maybe I should go to the shallows. If I get the fish to go into three feet of water, I'm essentially tricking it to come closer to the surface. I can't dive deeper than three feet. I'll have a fighting chance to net it. Out here, I know how this ends. There's no way I'm lifting this fish to the surface. I'm inching this thing toward shore. This is like a little boat going parallel to a much bigger boat and just using a little bit of force just to influence the direction a little bit. This is taking a while. It's working though. I'm running the trolling motor, getting closer and closer to shore. It's just sort of guiding it. I can see on the depth finder, seven feet, six feet, five feet, four, holding it for, I'm gonna be able to see this fish soon. Oh, it's stuck at four feet deep. Oh, three feet deep, forcing it to the surface. Oh my God, did you see that? That's the biggest catfish I've ever seen. Come on, come on, come on, stay up here. It's grounded, they're walking, ain't cutting through their skin. They're hunting down their prey in the bitter end. No, it's going back out deep. Grounded, they're walking, ain't cutting through their skin. They're hunting down their prey. Oh, crap. There it goes. It didn't work. It's going off into the deep. Son of a... It's still on, though. All right, I'm going to let him go deep for a little bit. It definitely spooked the fish being in only three feet and coming to the surface. So I'm going to let this fish get comfortable again and then do another angle toward the shore. And here we are back out in the deep because eight pound test line can't lift a fish that weighs way more than eight pounds. All right, second time's a charm, running the motor towards shore and it seems to be following. That yeah, just runs drag whenever it wants. It's still letting me influence its direction though. It's about the only leverage I have. Oh, he's letting me guide him. Three feet of water. Oh, it's coming up. It has to, it's only three feet deep. One quick turn of that fish's head and this line is toast. It's coming up. Whoa, I just saw it. I hope the camera picks that up. We're getting close. Definitely have seen bigger catfish, but not up close like this. And this one's definitely at least double my personal best. Oh, come on, running out line. He's going parallel to the shore though. I just need him to turn towards the shallows. Oh, he's turning. Let the games yes. begin. Your chains will not hold me down. Break and fall to the ground. Can't tame these lions inside. Oh my god, you guys. <laughs> this is hard to lift. I cannot get a good reading on this thing in a kayak. I don't know if I can even weigh it. But look at that guy. According to the scale, he's 15 pounds, but that's with part of his tail. Still on the kayak, I can barely lift this thing. Size that guy next to my foot, size 12. Even at 15 pounds, that's still double my personal best of 7.5 for a blue catfish. All right, buddy, let's get you back in. That's gonna do it for this video. So much fun, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the aerial footage, slow motion footage. If you've not become a subscriber, please consider doing so. And I will see you on the next adventure. Check out what the catfish did to the line from spinning so much. Totally worth it though.